Hey, what's up guys? Another bench press tip for you here today. So at this point, we should all be familiar with the whole idea of arching in the bench press. Not only that's going to shorten the range of motion, which is going to help with pressing maximal weight during competition, but also the fact that the arch in the bench press is going to be the most anatomically secure structure that's going to help you brace against heavy weights and ideally save your shoulders when you are working with a heavier bench press. But something that people oftentimes forget is that the spine is a dynamic structure, okay? It is always moving and regardless of how much we would like to think that once we lock it into place, specifically talking about the arch, that it would stay there, the fact is, is that unfortunately what happens is, is that when the bar comes down, we tend to lose a little bit of that arch that is kind of easier to set up with, with the weight locked out straight, okay? So, something that might be beneficial to you to practice is something that, I guess for lack of a better term, I call the hitch rule for the arch in your bench press. And the specific details might elude me because it's been a while since I've seen this movie, but there was a uh, Will Smith movie where he was like a dating coach for Kevin, what's his name? And if I'm not mistaken, the rule that he gave for going in for the kiss on the first date was that you go in 90% and you let her come to you with the last 10%. And that is exactly what we are doing when it comes to your sternum and the bar uh, on your bench press. So the idea is, is that you set up into as much of a good strong arch as you can, you bring that bar down about 90% and then you meet it the last 10% by giving yourself a little extra arch at the bottom. So you're bringing the bar down and you're really pulling those shoulder blades and giving yourself a little bit of extra range of motion to come up and meet that bar. Might work better for some of you that are a little bit more mobile through your spine, but I'm gonna give you a little demonstration and we will take it from there. All right, so here's the idea. We get set up how we normally would, good strong arch, of course, unrack the weight, and we're just gonna really take your time coming down, and then right when you're just about to make contact, rather than coming down the extra inch or so, simply retract your shoulder blades and puff the chest up, make slight contact, and then you're ready to launch it. So, in conclusion, what you might find, you know, again, depending on how your form is already, uh, giving that extra range of motion at the bottom is probably going to help you get a little bit more drive off the chest because oftentimes we don't even realize uh, how much uh, tension and how much of that arch we lose when the weight is actually coming down. Especially if you're, you know, relatively new to powerlifting, somewhere between, uh, you know, one to two, two and a half years, um, and you're still kind of, you know, working up to what your, you know, more or less genetic potential might be when it comes to maximal strength. So give that a try. Let me know how it feels for you, and you can learn more in the link below. We'll see you next time.